Prepare to have your mind blown as we embark on a deep dive into the captivating world of From, where seemingly unrelated characters and events are intricately connected in ways that will leave you wanting to rewatch the show. Let's start with the first one in character connections. The notion that all the characters are interconnected in ways that they don't fully understand yet is a common theme. The connection arrived between Boyd and Brian Kelly, who arrived together on the bus as way to this theory. Let's take a closer look at the impactful conversation between Donna and Boyd back in episode 3. Donna working in the greenhouse where Boyd discussed about the recent incident involving two newcomers to the town, Kelly and her boyfriend Brian. This film with gruesome details of their encounter with the monsters underscores the helplessness and the despair that have become a part of the characters' daily lives. The brutality of the monsters' actions paints a grim picture of the challenges they face. Adding another layer of intrigue to the story is Boyd's recollection of his past. He shares a story from his first tour in the army, involving a soldier named Brian Kelly who died in his arms. The coincidence of experiencing the death of another Brian Kelly deepened the mystery and surreal nature of their circumstances. The coincidence also illuminates the psychological struggles Boyd is grappling with as he tries to reconcile his past with the bizarre and terrifying present. There's another connection like the speculation that Elgin might be Fatima's child from the future as another layer of intrigue and potential time travel elements, but that's a theory for another day. Another connection I want to explore is Tabitha bracelet connection. The idea that Victor's mom found Tabitha lost bracelet and that this somehow led her along with Jim, Ethan, and Tabby to the town is an intriguing one. This will suggest that seemingly insignificant events or objects can have profound effects on the character's path, aligning with the chaos theory that Jade mentioned. Tabitha said she lost the bracelet and somehow found the bracelet in the town could mean somehow Victor's mom somehow found it in the hospital and brought it to the town with her going into the butterfly effect. This is a fascinating connection to explore in the story and it ties well with the overarching theme of chaos theory. The idea that small changes can have significant impact on the unfolding events. Tabitha's bracelet in this case could be viewed as a kind of butterfly going from one place to the next. And that's what I want to go explore more as the video progress. But before I do that, my name is Christian from the Premiere. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let's continue. So Tabitha bracelet, an object of personal value to her, something that Jim gave her and sentimental, yet is now in an unexpected location. This could mean that the hospital could be possible where Victor's mom worked. That's just a theory. The bracelet, though small and seemingly inconsequential, act as a catalyst, setting off chain of events leading to the convergence of multiple characters' path into the town. Makes you think the symbol that Jade's seen, it could mean that. Maybe the quest for Jade, and I'm going to go ahead and discuss that in a moment, is to stop this symbol, to stop the characters or people from coming into the path. Something that I, I've been thinking about is how Christy's fiance arrived to the town. Maybe Christy has something of her that she brought into the town, allowing Mary to be in the town as well. So that's the only explanation that I have on how she's in the town as well, connecting to this chaos theory and connecting to the, to the video title. And make, you know, think about it. If a character brings something to the town with them that is not related to other characters, that could mean that somehow they're all connected. The, the very act of Victor's mom bringing the bracelet back to town could have several implications. It could mean objects have meaning. And it reminds me of that show, The Dead Zone, where the character Joni Smith gains psychic abilities and that this allows him to see the past and future of people and objects he touched. So it connects to this, like what is the history of that particular object like the bracelet. If we analyze objects connecting to the characters, it can mean possibly that Tabby wears Victor's mom jacket. And also something that I've been thinking about, maybe a car is connected to the character somehow. I mean, if you think about it, there's so many cars. So it, that it's a story of when you sell your car and that person sells it to someone else. So as well, cars could be an object as we saw in episode five. This is an example of the butterfly effect, reinforcing J point about chaos theory. The idea again, that minor incident can create significant ripples that can significantly alter the trajectory of events and the life of the characters. This can be a key theme throughout their narrative, suggesting that no event, no matter how small, 
is ever truly insignificant. Now that connects to the music box. As we have seen, some characters can see the music box because they're connected somehow. What is the past of this particular object? So now there's another way to see the story. But the theory that the show is not about the town per se and everything that's going on, but rather about a quest, something that Ethan has said. To save the children in the lighthouse is a fascinating one. The monster could indeed be viewed as obstacle, preventing the characters from achieving this goal, about coming together to achieve this. We have to work together. Now, if you think about it, maybe their way they have to do it is at night and they cannot escape at night. So another way to see it. The town seems to be affect people in different ways, some led by bad ideas and visions, while others like Jade and Tabby manage to hold on to their goodness. This could reflect the struggle between good and evil, or suggest that the characters' personal qualities determine their experiences in the town, like we see with Randall. The idea that the characters' personal trauma and pain equip them to help others is a hopeful and redemptive interpretation. It suggests that the characters' struggles could have a deeper purpose and that their suffering might not be in vain. Trauma and pain is a driving force in the series that we have seen since the beginning. For example, Tabby's tragic loss of her son Thomas becomes a significant point for her journey. Her grief and desperation to find him may ignite her determination to uncover the truth behind the town and its mysterious lighthouse. And I'm using, you know, find him as a metaphor. Their personal trauma and her unwavering desire to save the children trapped inside create a powerful emotional arc for Tabby's character. Or if we nonsense and I have no idea what I'm talking about. Tilly, for example, having cancer, embodies resilience and the will to survive. Her fight against an illness becomes a metaphor for her determination to uncover obstacles and to help her fellow characters. Something that we have seen with as well if we're using this metaphor is the character of Randall focusing more on the dark parts of the town, even you know, putting Donna to a tree. Another connection is Mary's struggle with, with drug addiction. The show addresses and explores trauma uh, adds depth to the show. We're, in, we're discovering a little bit more about the character's background and discovering as well their impact on their past experience that connects to the show. If they had, again, one town meeting and they discuss, hey, where are you from? Tell me your backstory. Oh, hey, this is connecting to this and this and this. Okay, so we're all connected somehow, but why? That will make the show better. But yes, all of them are connected because they have all to come together to do a quest. Maybe it's saving the children, maybe stopping the symbol. I'm not sure what the big quest is. Maybe stopping the big red monster that have everyone trapped. I'm not sure what is the big, you know, quest. But going from what Ethan has said about quests, about bad symbols and good symbols, it could mean that they're there, all of them, for a purpose. Of course, the show is slow and we don't have no answers, but we have to wait to see what is that answer. You know, the connections and synchronicities among the characters suggest that their path are meant to cross and their presence in the town is not a coincidence. If we imagine the butterfly touching all the characters and somehow all of them go into the, that little circle. But that's the video for today. I wanted to go ahead and discuss that, connecting all the characters together, some points that connect them. Really excited to see more of the show. Again, thank you so much for all your support. It has meant the world to me in the past few weeks. And I, like I said before, I'm not sure what I'm going to do after the show is over. So if you have an idea of any other show that you want me to discuss, I will appreciate it. But also, this is not the end of From. Next month, I'm going to San Diego Comic Con 2023 as press. Super excited and hopefully, hopefully, there's a from panel. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Christian from BM Premiere, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone. Ow. Ow.